ionic bonds if you have neutral atom if you take the atom and if that atom lose an electron then it acquires positive charge that is it form positive ion when atom lose an electron it form a positive ion now this neutral atom if it gain an electron then it acquires negative charge means it form a negative ion in other words you know ions are produced by transfer of charge and these ions form a bond you know by transfer of charge positive and negative ions are formed and there is a bond between positive and negative ion which is called ionic bonds so let me just write in the short ions form bond called ionic bonds in the crystal structure what happens in the crystal structure that is ionic structure ions are arranged geometrically in crystal structure these ions are arranged geometrically in this case each positive ion is surrounded by negative ions and vice versa that is positive ions are surrounded by number of negative ions depending on their size or negative ions are surrounded by positive ions so in the crystal structure what happens is sum of lattice sites are occupied by positive ions and remaining lattice sites are occupied by negative ions and overall electrical neutrality is maintained ionic solids are electrically neutral even though they consist positive and negative ions this neutrality is maintained electrical neutrality is maintained example of this ionic solids are alkali halides and for explanation purpose i am going to consider here nacl crystal
first consider sodium ion sodium atom that is na you know that atomic number of sodium is 11 and so its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 and 3s1 looking at this electronic configuration you can see that there is only one electron in 3s orbit if this electron is removed then this sodium atom acquire closed structure if one electron is removed then sodium atom acquire closed structure and the closed structures are more stable and when these closed structures are acquired when the electrons are like 2 8 18 and so on when they have electrons like in this configuration like a 2 8 or 18 then that is most stable structure and that stable structure is called the closed structure so for sodium to acquire closed structure it has to get rid of one electron and energy required to get rid of one electron is equals to 5.1 electron volt for sodium and this is called the first ionization energy of sodium this is called the first ionization energy so first ionization energy of the sodium is 5.1 electron volt that means if you have neutral sodium atom and if you supply the energy 5.1 electron volt then we will get a positive sodium ion plus electron that is the case for sodium then consider chlorine chlorine atom now for this chlorine atom atomic number is 17 so its electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and 3p5 now you can see there is a 2 8 and 7 electrons in this case we have 2 then 8 then 7 to form a closed structure it require one more electron so for this one electron is required to form a closed structure closed structures are more stable structures then we have to bind one more electron to this neutral chlorine atom and binding one electron to chlorine
energy released is equals to 3.6 electron volt. So if you want to bind the one electron to the chlorine, it releases the energy equals to 3.6 electron volt. This is called electron affinity. Hence, that is chlorine atom, neutral atom, plus one electron. So we have to bind one more electron to the chlorine atom. Then it gives chlorine ion plus 3.6 electron volt energy is released. Okay, this energy is released. So from this, see, uh, in case of the sodium, we need 5.1 electron volt energy to, to form a sodium ion. And to form a chlorine ion, 3.6 energy, electron volt energy is released. So therefore, the net change in the energy for forming a ion pair that is one sodium and one chlorine is 5.1 electron volt minus 3.6 electron volt which is 1.5 electron volt. So to form a pair of sodium and chlorine ion, the net energy required is 1.5 electron volt. Let me write that. Net energy required for forming one sodium ion and one chlorine ion is 1.5 electron volt. As we know that uh, the bond energy of NaCl is 0.24 nanometer. Bond energy of NaCl. It's a not energy, it's a bond length. Bond length of NaCl is 0.24 nanometer. When NaCl molecule form, then its binding energy is given by is given by let's say it is a V which is equals to minus of E square upon 4 pi epsilon 0 R0. Let us substitute the values of this. E is a charge which is 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb square of it divided by 4 into pi is 3.414 into epsilon naught is 8.85 into 10 raised to minus 12 into r naught r naught is 0.24 nanometer that is 0.24 into 10 to power minus 9 meter to simplify this, what we get is minus of 9.6 into 10 to power minus 19 joules.
let's convert this in electron port to convert it in electron ports we have to divide it by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 coulomb and you get minus 6 electron volt so the binding energy of NaCl molecule is 6 electron volt NaCl is equals to minus 6 electron volts and energy required to form sodium and chlorine ions pair net energy is 1.5 electron volt so entire process involves energy so to form a pair is a 1.5 electron volt required so entire process involve 6 minus 1.5 that is equals to 4.5 electron volt energy so 6 electron volt is you know the binding energy of the NaCl and to form Na plus and Cl minus ions net energy required is 1.5 so entire process this involves the 6 electron volt minus 1.5 electron volt so this 4.5 electron volt energy actually released when NaCl mod uh, molecule is formed. Let us find then cohesive energy of ionic crystals. Cohesive energy of ionic crystal as you as we define this cohesive energy is the energy released when crystal is formed so the energy released when any scale crystal is formed that energy we have to find that is the cohesive energy of ionic crystals let us find that as we know that energy of attraction between two ions separated by distance R. Energy of attraction between two ions separated by distance R is given by let's say V attraction which is equals to minus of e square upon 4 pi epsilon naught r so this is the energy of attraction between the ions when they are separated by distance r but to account interaction of ions with its neighbors of the same and opposite charge the relation we have to modify because in the ionic solids there are not just two ions these two ions are surrounded by several positive and negative ions this ion pair one ion pair positive and negative ion pair is surrounded by several positive and negative ions so to account that account the interaction of those surrounded ions with this ion pair which we have considered to account interaction of ions with its neighbors
that these neighbors are of same or opposite charge same and opposite charge then these above relations we can rewrite as phi attraction is equals to minus alpha e square upon 4 pi epsilon naught r in this equation this alpha is correction factor which accounts the interaction of one ion pair with its neighbors of the same and opposite charge and this correction factor is called Madelung factor so this is the energy of attraction then let us find energy of repulsion between ion pairs energy of energy of repulsion between ion ion sphere separated by distance r and that is equals to v repulsion v repulsion is equals to beta upon r raised to n here beta is constant and n is any number okay we got energy due to attraction and energy due to repulsion then write total potential energy per ion pair total total potential energy per ion pair due to their interactions with all ion pairs is V equals to V attraction plus V repulsion. Let us substitute the value of V attraction which is minus alpha e square upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r plus beta upon r raised to n let's say this is our equation 1 then at equilibrium at equilibrium resultant force is 0 that is when r equals to r naught this force would be 0 that is this dv upon dr that r equals to r naught is 0 so let us take the derivative of this equation 1 which is alpha e square upon 4 pi epsilon naught r naught square minus n beta upon r naught raised to n plus 1 and this is 0. Let us simplify this. Alpha e square upon 4 pi epsilon naught r naught square is equals to n beta upon r naught raised to n plus 1. We have to find here beta so beta is equals to alpha e square upon 4 pi epsilon naught into n and into r naught raised to n minus 1.
So this is the value of beta. Let's say this is equation 2. So let us substitute 2 in equation 1. So from equation 1 and 2, what we get is total potential energy per ion pair is equals to V minus of alpha E square upon 4 pi epsilon naught R naught. This is V attraction plus V repulsion is beta upon R S to N and beta is this alpha E square upon 4 pi epsilon naught N into R naught raised to N minus 1 into this is the value of beta. So beta upon R raised to N. Let us simplify it. What we get is minus alpha E square upon 4 pi epsilon naught R naught plus alpha E square upon 4 pi epsilon naught N R naught. Let us simplify it further. Let us take common minus alpha e square upon 4 pi epsilon naught r naught is a common into bracket 1 minus 1 upon n and this is potential energy per ion pair. Using this equation we can find potential energy per ion pair.